Ray, 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 Ray Serengowski. You heard Ray. Hey guys, Ray and our voice of the guy.com. Another tutorial. I uh, wanted to go ahead and throw this out there. This is part three of our vocal series that we've been working on. And this happens to be with uh, rapper R&B vocals. Now, before you guys start typing, for all the haters are out there, uh, throwing stuff down that they say, well, why'd you do this? or You shouldn't do this. This is one option. This is one option I'll give you, uh, that I've seen out there that people use that I use if I happen to be mixing down a, a rapper R and B vocal. So, uh, without further ado, here we go. We're going to take this track right here and uh, we are going to go ahead and apply a few things to it. Take a listen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yo, the rebel, hotter than the devil, lighter than the treble, get up on my level, better step up on the pedal. All right, there it is. So take a look at the entire wave file right here. You can see it. So the first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to go into uh, our effects panel here. Now, we're in edit view, so this is the destructive mode. So what you do here um, stays here. Now, you can control Z and get out of this up to 15 times, I believe it is. Um, but it's much different than applying your effects on the multi-track. Once you're here, if you're in effects, you can go ahead and open this up and you can lay all your effects out right here or create a bus and do the exact same thing here. So if you don't like how something sounds, you can go ahead and just take that off, click the power off on that, eliminating that effect. What we're going to do is just do some standard housekeeping things uh, here in the edit view back on this one right here. And oh, here we go. Starting here, what we're going to do in our effects, we are going to go to um, the Amplify uh, and Fade Process. And then you're going to go to Center Wave. Hit OK. After that, we're going to go ahead and hit Dynamics Processing. And in here, uh, for voiceovers, you guys have seen me use this. And this is the Compander. Uh, that I always use when I'm doing voiceovers or anything like that. Um, but in Dynamics Processing, there is a really nice preset called Rap Presence. And you can go ahead and look at the graphic there as well. Uh, I always go to Spline Curves. It makes it nice and smooth. There's no hard cutoff ends. But you'll see this it flows from, it starts to pick up at negative 80, um, right up to it starts to pitch back around at negative 20 on here. And you can go through here and look at all your attack uh, and release here, both in your gain uh, and your level detector. So if you want to, you can go ahead and pause, take a look at these settings. These are the standard settings, I believe, uh, on Adobe Edition 3.0. All right, so we're gonna go back to graphic. We like that, we click OK. Okay, after that, we are gonna go right back up to our filter. We're gonna go to filter and EQ, and we are gonna go to our FFT filter right here. And we are going to scroll down to the mastering heavy wipe, which is a heavy wipe. I'm sorry, heavy and wide. There we go. And what you're going to see is it's going to tail off right about uh, 41, 42 hertz. And then again, it's going to pick up right at about. Uh, 5400 so it's going to cut both of those um, here and here and I'll let you hear what that sounds like right now yeah okay yeah Joe the rebel had it in the devil let it in the triple get it for my level better step up on the pedal better make it quick money ain't fast better make a shift bitch I'm like gas high as a bitch pumping your chick right in your whip ha <laughs> damn ain't out of shit no scullies down here the dress never fit Tell your man I'm trip, head ain't good, head ain't hood, leave a nigga all red, boy, that ain't shook. Fighting over hoes you never should. Be small if you feel it. There we go. So just play around with that a little bit. You can kind of see uh, where you like that, where you cut off some of the rumble uh, on the bottom, uh, and maybe some of the higher hiss on the top end. You can kind of filter that off. Uh, that's one thing to do. And then again, I would go right back into this one more time into the DSer. Uh, which is right there and you'll see here and you can move this around depending and this is going to depend on what kind of microphone you have if you have a lot of s in your sounds a lot of s's uh, p's f's things like that that this will help with but take a listen to this right here as is with the de-esser yeah okay yeah Joe, the rebel had it in the devil let it in the treble get it for my level better step up on the pedal better make it quick 
Okay, we like that. So we're going to hit that, and you'll see that kind of calms down just a little bit, and it cuts off some of that high-end hiss that was right here, about negative 3, uh, and right here on the bottom as well. So it's kind of even that out just a little bit. Uh, and then the last thing, um, again, if you're going to do all in edit mode, um, this is the one option uh, that I was telling you about. You would go ahead and you can go into mastering. And right in here, there is a subtle clarity. And take a listen to that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Joe, the rebel, hotter than the devil, lighter than the treble. Get up on my level, better step up on the pedal. Better make it quick, money ain't fast, better make it shift. Bitch, What's really, really nice that is it kind of brings it out. It's right there in front of you. It kind of brings it out. Um, it's, uh, it, it raises the, the loudness maximizer by 15%. Um, and then it adds a little bit of reverb. If that's too much reverb, go ahead and cut it down right here. Uh, or take it from 20 to, say, 10% on here. And then go ahead and listen to that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Joe, the rebel, hotter than the devil, lighter than the treble. Get it for... And there you go. Um, clicking over to multi-track view, uh, one of the things you might want to do, um, if you'd like, uh, if you want to play around to, sometimes I will go ahead and copy this. You've seen this on another tutorial that I've done before. Um, but up one and two, uh, just copy that file. And then what you want to do is just hit your plus key. And you want to open that up just like that. Go back to the beginning, or we can start seeing vocals anyway here. And then what you want to do is you want to shift one, just right click on your mouse, the second track, and inch it just over slightly, just like that. That's the move right there. Uh, didn't look like much, but when you hear it, you'll hear this kind of, uh, uh, I referred to it as a widening effect before someone corrected me and said, no, it's not a widening effect. Um, but it's just adding, if you don't want to do uh, overdubs and you want to add some thickness, uh, to your vocal track, here's one way of doing it. Yeah, okay, yeah. Joe, the rebel, hotter than the devil, lighter than the treble. Get up on my level, better step up on the pedal. Better make it quick, money ain't fast, better make it shift. Bitch. Something like that. So that's one way to do it. Uh, last thing I would do, uh, going on here, if you go into DirectX, uh, Waves plugin, um, there is a R comp um, right here. And Here's a couple different ways that you can do it here. Um, there's a few presets that are really, really nice in here. You can play around with it um, just a little bit. Um, but here's one called Loud and Proud. Yeah, okay, yeah. Joe, the rebel, hotter than the devil, lighter than the treble. Get up on my level, better step up on the pedal. Better make it quick, money ain't fast. Better make it shift. Bitch, I'm like gas, high as a bitch. Pumping your chick, right in your whip. Ha, <laughs> damn, ain't out of shit. The scullies down here, the dress never fit. And if you want to go ahead and do your own preset, um, you can play around in here. And I can tell you, one of the things you want to do, if you're looking for a fast attack, you want to be somewhere between four uh, and eight. So if you put it right in here, say at four there, and then on the release part of it, you want to be 40 to 50 mil like that. And go ahead and take a listen to that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Joe, the rebel, hotter than the devil, lighter than the treble. Get up on my level, better step up on the pedal. Better make it quick, money ain't fast, better make it shift. Bitch, I'm like gas. And that's about it. So that's one option for you to look at adding... Uh, some vocal effects to rap and R&B. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. Um, again, if you have some suggestions, uh, instead of just some of the emails that I've gotten before about, now nah, you should have did this or you should have did that, please leave the comments below. Uh, rate, or if you have another video tutorial uh, that you think is uh, worthwhile for people to take a listen to, uh, go ahead and link that here as well. Um, this is all about making people better at what they do as far as audio engineering goes. So that's it, guys. Thanks for listening. This is Ray at our voiceoverguy.com. If you're in the mood for looking at uh, new DJ drops or generic drops for your podcast, or if you're looking for um, some voiceovers for your new mixtapes, uh, mix IDs, and things like that, um, check us out at www.ourvoiceoverguy.com. See you later. Our voiceoverguy.com where your message 
is our specialty. Whether you need voice talent, voice artists, voice work, or radio imaging voiceovers, OurVoiceOverGuy.com is your source for all things voice.